Hi guys, got a couple of carbon monoxide alarms to take apart here. I was a bit concerned because in the back of my mind there was something about them containing radioactive material. But apparently that's smoke alarms. Carbon monoxide alarms are different. So this one's labelled Fire Angel and this one is EI. EI Electronics. Okay, I'll take this one apart first because it's the oldest one. Uh, we had that this one in our old house um, before we moved, and we've been in this current house for 14 years. Data manufacturer 2007. Yeah. Supposed to replace it after five years, so that would have been 2012, wouldn't it? I think we kept it around right up until a couple of years back. But we had up-to-date ones in the house. I just kept it for the sake of keeping it. Anyway, it looks like we've got two screws. We're only opening them up to see if there's anything in there that's worth having. I've had a look at a few other people's videos, um, in fact quite a few other people's videos. There was one guy who certainly seemed to know what he was talking about, talking about getting a couple of little PIC PIC microcontrollers out of the ones he recovered. I'm not clever enough to do that sort of thing. I've never used a PIC microcontroller to my knowledge. Although, lots of people use them for all sorts of things. Right, so what have we got here? We have a circuit board. We have a little module there, which I think is the actual detector. I'm not going to try and be clever and tell you how a CO2, a carbon monoxide detector works. You'll have to look that up yourself. Why isn't that coming out easily? That seems to be stuck just there. Okay, we've got a little ribbon cable here. Will that unclip? That looks like that clip just holds it in place. Yep. That holds it in place. Is that going to tear off now? Yeah. Sticky tape on the back of it holding it in place. That'll be the display. Oh, and... I was going to say, and the LED, but that's not the LED, that's just the plastic thing that extends the light. If I put my finger over the end, you can see sunlight coming through the back of it. So there's the LED. So what have we got on here that we can look at? I'm guessing that's probably the um, speaker, the alarm. Am I wrong? Is that the alarm? No, I should think I should think that's the detector there. Oh, that looks like that just pulls straight out. That's interesting. January 2007. So I bet potentially just that piece could be replaced. So what else have we got? A little spring there, I don't know where that came from. Oh, I think that was the thing that... There's a little lever inside the battery compartment that detects when it's plugged in, or at least when the battery's in the box. Chips. Uh, oh, that one actually says pick on it. They're all labelled the other way up, so I'll turn them round and we'll do a close-up with the camera so we can see what they are. Right, I don't think I need to go into macro mode. We can actually see well enough just in close-up. You can read these as well as I can. A 74HC373N, is that? 
In fact, you'll be able to see better than me because you'll be looking at the video screen. Whereas I'm trying to see it direct. So the quick question is, is there anything on there that I could make use of myself? I've already said I'm not into PIC controllers, but that one is um, on a socket. So it could be taken out and made use of. There is an LED. There is a push button momentary switch over there. Oh, what was that little chip? Didn't see that one. That's not coming out easily. I think all we got under there is uh, piezo, pizza, pizza, <laughs> um, speaker, microphone, whatever. But whatever it is, it doesn't want to come out. Going to end up destroying that, aren't we? All right. Made a bit of progress. That's better. Right, yeah, so Piso, I can never remember how to pronounce that. Three tags. So that would have been one there, one there, and one on the outside somewhere. That's the bit that makes the noise though, I'm pretty confident. So, what have we learnt taking it apart? Not a lot. Some chips, which we can see the numbers on. I think that's a PIC con controller. If I pull that little label off, we'd see the full number. Say, so, I've never used a PIC controller. But the video I watched, the guy reckoned it was worth having. Because I don't remember how old that video was. If nothing else... You want a connector for your nine volt battery. <laughs> okay, so nothing very exciting in there unless you're into pick controllers. I believe I was reading somewhere that these contain a liquid um, sulfuric acid at some level or other. But that's you'll have to investigate that yourself. I'm not going to take it apart anyway. Let's have a look at the other one. Right. How does this come apart? Slide out. Okay. So this one had three AA batteries. Screw there, two screws there. Now if nothing else, from my point of view, these metal contacts are useful. That can just come out. That is just going to come out. A bit of wiggling. Oh, it's still got the power leads attached. But that's a, at a very basic level, that's a handy three AA battery holder.
coming loose at that end. Something else must be holding it in place at this end. I should think we've probably got some screws under here somewhere. There's one at the other side there. Yep. Now we're in. circuit board. I reckon those three, which were those holes that I pushed through, are probably test points. So they can test it once they've assembled it. We can see our piezo speaker there. Oh. Excitement, three nice big LEDs. Is that going to come out? Oh, that's held in place with twisted bits of plastic. So this plastic can go in the bin. So that bit there is going to be the same as that bit from the other one. Speaker. Speaker. And I think, oh, look at this. They've made the LEDs just push fit. Oh, wow. Oh, that was handy. Well, it might be worth desoldering those. Oh, what are they called? It's on the tip of my tongue. French sounding. Never mind. So what's that? We got collector base and A, whatever A is. I was gonna say collector base emitter, but I don't don't know what that is, but we got CBA on it. My wife's talking a bit loud in the background there. And then that bit there is actually a contact. Is that the push button? That's the push button. That's a very simple push button. I reckon that says 3906 on it. 3904 and 3906 are quite handy um, common transistors. That's a pick. Let's get in close again. So 
So there you are, a, a PIC 16F676. And what was the other one? Oh dear, Nanny's shouting. Oh, I have to go and shut the it's door. It's the modern age. Everybody does video calling and they have to shout to each other. Right, back to where we were. Uh, what were we saying? That one was a pick 16LF72, one stroke SP, whatever that may be. And this one is a pick. 16F676. So yeah, there's a couple of PIC controllers there if you know your PIC controllers and know how to program them and do what you want with them. Maybe it's something I ought to get into. They were very popular, but then everybody got into Arduinos and that sort of thing. So Yeah. I'll say a few discrete components, diode, resistors, capacitors, nothing really exciting in there, unless you're into PIC controllers. I think that's probably the main thing I'm learning from this, that uh, you might be able to make use of them yourself. I think that'll do. We've had a quick look inside. They were going in the recycling. And I thought I'll pull them out and we'll have a look at them. I did a bit of research first, as I said, because I was worried about this thing with radiation. But that is smoke alarms, not CO2, uh, carbon monoxide detectors. Just an extra little bit. I just noticed, I said I thought these things had acid in them. And it does actually say that on the outside. Caution, contains acid. The other one didn't let you know that. So I suggest if you want to know about them, have a look on Wikipedia or something like that. Rather than trust an old man like me to witter on, on a YouTube video where I know nothing about what I'm really doing. I'm just having a look inside because I'm curious. And another bit I missed. We did mention it, but we didn't actually look at it. This is the display, which again was mentioned in one of the videos I looked at. Whether a two or three digit display. It might be of use to somebody. Might be interesting just to try and link it up to something and display something on it. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.